There are lots of inexpensive tire gauges you can purchase that are not very accurate, and if the reading is inaccurate, the gauge is worthless. That is why you should spend a little more, $15 to $25, and get a quality tire pressure gauge that is accurate to within plus or minus 1 to 2 PSI. The question is, how do you know if a tire gauge is accurate or not? Here are a few tire pressure gauge tips to help you out. You can check the air pressure in a tire with the gauge in question, and then check the same tire with another gauge. If there is a significant difference in the readings, four or more PSI between the two gauges, one or both gauges may be inaccurate. If both gauges read within one to two PSI of each other, the gauges are more than likely accurate. If you want a more precise method for checking the accuracy, take the gauge to a local tire dealer or fleet truck maintenance facility and ask them to check it using a master gauge. A master gauge is a gauge that is certified to be accurate. Don't depend on pressure gauges at gas stations to be accurate. These are usually abused and neglected, raising concern over the accuracy. There are several different types of pressure gauges available on the market. One important thing to keep in mind is the pressure the gauge is actually rated for. Most automobile tires are only inflated to about 32 PSI, so a 0 to 60 PSI gauge is sufficient. On the other hand, some motorhome and truck tires can be inflated to 100 PSI or more. It is important for accuracy and to prevent damage to the gauge that you get the right gauge for the job. A general rule of thumb is to find a gauge that can read double what the inflation pressure is set at. This isn't always possible, especially with tires inflated to 90 PSI, so try to find a gauge rated for high pressure, like 150 PSI. Possibly the most common type of pressure gauge is the plunge or pencil type. Some of these are calibrated, and some of the cheaper ones are not. As a general rule, a common plunge type gauge you would purchase will be accurate to plus or minus 3 PSI when it is new. Like everything else these days, things are switching from analog to digital. Analog tire pressure gauges were the standard for many, many years, but advancements in digital technology have improved on that standard. In numerous tests comparing different type gauges, digital gauges were the most accurate tested. Regardless of the type of gauge you choose, there are high quality and low quality gauges available. Here are a few things to keep in mind when it comes to tire pressure gauges. Spend a few more dollars and get a quality pressure gauge. If the gauge will be used for checking dual wheels on a motorhome, the chuck end of the gauge should have a dual foot designed to make the job much easier. Always select a gauge rated higher than the inflation pressure of the tires you are checking. If you overpressure a gauge, have it tested for accuracy. Try not to drop or jar the gauge. Store the gauge in some type of protective covering or case and in an area where it won't be hit or damaged. Periodically have the gauge tested for accuracy. At a minimum, compare it to another quality gauge to see if both read the same or close to the same pressure. 